Welcome to the Emotional Pulse tutorial about how to create groups and pairs. This is a simple tutorial to help guide you through the process of creating either a group or a pair and in what situations you might want to use these functions. Now first start by ensuring that you have completed a full registration in this application. Once you've completed your full registration, it will activate the groups and pairs function, which you can find up here in the groups icon. If you tap on the groups icon, it will list out all your groups and pairs. And on this side menu here at the top, you can filter those either by group or by pair. Now to create a new group or pair, you'll need to tap on the plus icon on the top left here. This will give you the option between creating a group or a pair. Now a group is more than two people that are confidentially sharing their emotional state for the benefit of transparency and a mental health and well-being. It's useful for teams within any organization, community group, to help get a read on the emotional state of teams and build awareness. So let's start by the example of creating a group. So if I tap on groups, it's gonna open up the page where I can upload my own icon here with whatever image I like. I can change the background of the group here using the camera and I will name the group. So we'll call this the demo group. Next, it's gonna ask me to nominate a time to send out notifications for my group members to remind them to check in. We recommend starting with weekdays as a minimum and then nominate a time. We would recommend at 11 a.m., which gives you enough read on the day to understand where you might be feeling emotionally, but it doesn't let too much of the day go by that you don't have transparency of the team's and the group's morale. Hit next, and then it will give you the link to invite people that are already on Emotional Pulse. So I'll use Kevin as the example who's in our team. You search for people, you simply check off on their names, it will add those people in once you hit finished. Now let's suppose Kevin is not yet on Emotional Pulse. So simply finish creating the group down here, and it's gonna automatically generate a QR code and a link that you can share with your network. And these share links will automatically paste into your clipboard. And it will allow you to share these links through any application that you have on your device. The QR code is powerful to use in a group setting where you're running an event and you might wanna get a live pulse instantaneously from that group. Uh, but you also might use that to get a fast registration for a team. And the registration will go specifically to this group that you've created. I'm gonna use the share link function. It'll copy it into the clipboard. I will demo this now using the direct sharing through LinkedIn messages. So here's Kevin Chin. I could search for Kevin or any other person. And then I'll simply select them and hit send and it will send a pre-written uh, description and a connection to the link specifically for that group within Emotional Pulse. So that's it for creating groups. It will give you a view. So once you have your group set up, you can open up the groups and edit favorites and make sure that your group is listed on the top there for favorites. Whichever group is listed at the top of your favorites will be the one that will open up after you've finished your check-in. So let's go into the share tree group and see the live pulse check-in of the group. Now you can see it's before 11 a.m. here this morning, so I'm the only one that's checked in today as part of this demo so far. If I go into the history, what you'll see on the emotional journey is that we do a live pulse check-in every Friday. And this is something we strongly recommend all organizations do. And we use a method called building emotional resilience. Now to build emotional resilience, you wanna ask two questions authentically as a leader and show vulnerability. The first question is, what's been most challenging for you this week. Allow people to express what's been challenging in heart. And these are really great opportunities for personal development and growth, but also innovation within the organization. The finishing question you wanna ask at the end of that meeting is what do you think has been the growth opportunity or learning in this challenge? Or what is something that you're most grateful for this week? Those two questions are the best questions to actually help exercise the full emotional array and break down the stigma of people sharing emotional challenge 
within teams and groups. So that's the power of creating groups on ShareTree. Next one I want to share with you is to create a pair. Now if we go back to the home page up the top here, if you hit the groups icon, and again to add a group or a pair, you'll see we've got the pairs icon. So if I tap on a form a pair, a pair is when you want to connect with someone and disclose your emotional state and will send notifications to each other. So I'm using Kevin as the example again. If I hit this button up the top here to connect and pair with Kevin, it's going to give me three options. The first option is a two-way pair, where both Kevin and I are sharing our emotional state and access to our emotional patterns and analytics. This is useful for when I have a trusted relationship with a person. It might be your partner, it might be your work colleague, it might be a buddy. And we strongly recommend that you form at least a pair or a group because the science shows that checking in and understanding your emotional patterns is really powerful and effective for good mental health strategies as an individual. But what's more effective is if we have trusted, authentic, vulnerable conversations with those around us. And the pairs function helps do this in the greatest effect. So too does the groups function. Now, if I have a two-way pair with Kevin, we will both be notified each time one of us checks in. If I use the one-way pair, where Kevin is just now sharing his emotional state and his emotional analytics with me, this is really useful in a coaching scenario, in a support scenario. I might want to be able to understand what effects my support and wellbeing plans are having on Kevin. I might be working with him on professional coaching to see how that's helping his emotional resilience and emotional state. And in the reverse, Kevin might be offering these support services to me. Also really effective for parents that want to make sure they stay connected to their children or loved ones in times of challenge and distress. So that's it for forming pairs and groups. Should you have any further questions that you might need help to form multiple groups within enterprises and connecting groups or customize any solutions or you just want direct help and service, feel free to reach out to us here at ShareTree. We are very open uh, to all sorts of input and feedback and we will provide solutions whatever the community needs. Thank you. We look forward to using Emotional Pulse.